Hey everyone, welcome back to Limit Breaker Fitness. Monty here again. Today we're going to do another episode of Muscles in Motion, but this is a part two. A part two to our forearms video that we did last week, or maybe the other day. I haven't decided how I'm going to upload these yet. Anyway, the forearms have a ton of different muscles involved, so I thought it would be a bit too much to have everything in one video. So last time we talked about the forearm flexors, which work to bring everything in like this. So today we're going to talk about the muscles on the other side of the forearm known as the extensors. Now the extensors are the muscles on the back of the forearm here. Now I say on the back because whenever we're talking about the human body, we refer to it in this position where it's standing straight up facing forward with the palms out. This is the standard position. And so everything on the back side, like the extensors of the forearm here, those are known as the posterior. Uh, it's they're referred to as posterior. So the posterior muscles of the forearm are the extensors. And if we take a look at this diagram over here, we can see that there are several different muscles involved. Now, just like with the flexors, I never bothered to memorize each and every one of them because it's not really important for our purposes. The only thing that's important to note is the anatomy, which if you take a look, you'll see that the muscles all attach at different points in our fingers. They run all the way down the forearm and they attach in the elbow on the outside here. Now, what do these muscles do? Well, they work to extend the fingers and the wrist. So they take the fingers back and they take the wrist back. So that's all the forearm muscles here. Now, I don't know if you could tell, I'll try this again, but if you move your fingers individually, there's different parts that are actually moving. I don't know if you can tell very well. Well, I got a couple of bruises because I was cupping on that side. But see how this is moving up top here when I'm moving this finger? How it moves down when I'm moving my middle finger? See that? move? It's down. So that's kind of the proof that there's different muscles involved and that they have different connection points. So how do we train these muscles? Well, there's a couple of different ways. First thing you can do is just grab a rubber band, put it around your fingers, and then simply take your fingers, open them up, and close them back down. And that's a good way to work them. Uh, I believe in uh, physical therapy, whenever someone's had an injury, this is a way they like to work on it. And they have little gadgets that also have little rubber bands that attach to each finger and you can work on it. That's one way to work on it. I never really do that, never had a need to. I prefer to do uh, reverse wrist curls, which I'll show you how to do those right now. Give me one second. Uh, I got to adjust the camera. We'll get down to our bench. We got our dumbbell waiting for us there. And I'll show you how to do those reverse wrist curls. Okay, guys and gals, we're over here at our bench. We got our dumbbell. So we're going to go ahead and grab it. And we're going to put our forearm right on the uh, bench here and use it to support us. And just like with the regular wrist curls that we did uh, in the last video, by doing these reverse wrist curls on the bench here rather than out in the air, we're able to take all the other muscles out of it and really put the emphasis on the uh, extensors here. So now we have our dumbbell in hand, firm grasp on it, firmly grasp it. That's going to be my favorite reference in all my videos. You'll see. I'll use it over and over again. <laughs> anyway, before I start babbling on. Now we got our dumbbell in hand. We got our bench supporting our forearm. So we're going to come and let our wrist come all the way down. And then we're going to open up our fingers just a little bit and we're going to let the dumbbell hang just to the point before it falls. Now once again we're going to grab it and come all the way up and we're going to look to take the index finger here kind of towards the elbow back here so that we're turning the wrist a little bit. And that's going to ensure we get a full contraction using those extensors. Now once again we're going to come all the way down, let it drift. Now you don't have to let it drift like this. It makes it harder. If you can't handle that yet, just keep a good grip, grip on it. Come all the way up, really squeeze, and come all the way back down. Now, just like with any other exercise, as you do it more often, simply add more reps, add more weight as you get stronger. And you'll find that just like with when you were working the inside ones, uh, working these outside ones is going to help to translate over to a lot of our other lifts. 
And making sure we have you know, uh, good strong forearm muscles is going to help us uh, avoid things like tennis, uh, tennis elbow and golfer's elbow, which I'm actually dealing with some tennis elbow right now myself because you th I'm stupid. You think I'd listen to my own advice, but hopefully this will help you out anyway. That's all I got for you today, guys. Uh, do me a favor, please. Uh, like the video, share it, uh, hit the subscribe button. And uh, that way it helps with the algorithm and it gets this information out to as many people as possible. Also, don't forget, guys, uh, follow me on Instagram. And if you're looking to get started, I have a free program, no strings attached. Uh, that'll be linked down below. Uh, any, like, any beginner can do it in any gym uh, and help get you more acclimated to the environment and start your body like building that foundation. And if you want to work directly with me, I'll have that linked uh, down below as well in the uh, pinned comment. And that's it for today, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.